What's up my little mofos? I'm back making another video with my boyfriend Ricky. It's me. And this time we're making a video in our bed, you know, where all the where all the magic happens. There's no magic. There's magic. No. There could be magic. No. <laughs> that actually really hurt. And we're gonna be doing the our first time tag. So basically we have a bunch of random questions in here asking us the first time we did stuff. So it's gonna be freaking awesome. You ready? No. You ready? No. You ready? What is the first thing you do when you get home? I take all of my clothes off. See, I do the exact same thing, except I take all of my clothes off and I throw them on the living room floor. <laughs> first job. I was a dishwasher. Oh, you were? You obviously aren't anymore. Should get to that. My first job, actually when I was 12 years old, I was a paper boy. It was a fun job. I had to get up a fucking four in the morning and deliver papers all across the neighborhood. Actually, it was not a fun job. Scraps that I hated it so much. First fight that we, we had. Okay, I, I don't remember our first fight, but I can remember the first time you made me mad a little bit. Really? Okay, so it was Valentine's Day. And he was gonna come down to see me because we didn't live in the same city. And he got off work too late and he could have come down and I had him like a bottle of Jack Daniels, some fucking candy. And a huge card. A huge card. Do you still have that card? Yeah, it's in the closet. Little marks on it. Oh, you saved it for all these years. <laughs> it was like three years ago. To Ricky, the best, funniest, not as funny as me, cutest, dorkiest, awesomest, greatest boyfriend I've ever had. Well, I've only had one, so you won all of these categories. LOL. Happy Valentine's Day, fool. Those were all lies. <laughs> You know what's funny? I actually still have the rose that you got me for Valentine's Day three years ago. Better. I still have. Let me show you. Oh boy. <laughs> so on Valentine's Day, it was 2013. Dust on the box. <laughs> he he gave me a single white rose, and I still have it. You guys, look at it. I mean, it's dead as fuck. But I, <laughs> but I still have this rose. First relation. First relationship, really. In high school, I dated my best friend for one day. And, but that wouldn't really count either because the next day she was like, this is weird. I'm like, this is weird. I know. That's like me dating Ashley for a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is my first relationship. Yours too? Mm -hmm. It better be. Is it the last? <laughs> next question. First time you told someone you were gay. Do you remember? Yes. It was Travis. I remember I was just pacing back and forth and he was like just... Looking, he was just like screaming, like, "What's the matter with you?" We were, oh, I started throwing things. I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> I was just throwing rocks. And you're just like, "I'm gay, man." No, I didn't even tell him. He guessed. Yeah, you are. You are pretty gay. I was actually 15 as well. So this is back in the day of MySpace, and there was one openly gay kid in school that I knew of. <laughs> I'm on MySpace profile. You know where it says orientation. I had under there not sure. And then he messaged me, he was like, why did you say not sure? Oh, and I was like, because I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, oh, so you might be bi? I'm just like, yeah, I guess so. Then he got hella thirsty, he was like, ooh, do you like me? And... <laughs> yeah, I thought it was such a big deal to change my, my uh, orientation on Facebook. And then you did it, and nobody gave a fuck. Right? That's how it works. <laughs> the first time you were drunk. The first time you were drunk. The first time I was drunk was Halloween night 2007. I remember I had a huge bottle of vodka and I had never been drunk before. Well, obviously, I've never been drunk before. I didn't know how much to drink. And I was just walking in the back of my high school drinking vodka and I was like, I don't understand this. I'm not drunk. I didn't know that it hit you later. I thought it hit you all at once. So I just kept chugging until I chugged half the fucking 750 milliliter bottle. Before I knew it, I was passed out like on the ground in Walgreens, just lying down and I ruined my friend's holiday. So that was mine. I think I was 12. What <laughs> the fuck? Are you serious? I think, no, no, I was 13. That is not better. What the fuck is a drunk 13 year old even like? Are you watching SpongeBob? What the fuck are you doing, SpongeBob? Is this real? If that is your real name. First crush, come on. Do you remember your first crush? No. I, uh, well. I remember I was in middle school. I was like 12. And there was this guy named, I don't want to say his name, Yeah. but <laughs> there was this guy, he was, he had it all. He was tan, 
He had spiked hair. He was 10 years old. Okay, that's just creepy. That's a tan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was 12 as well. He was 10. He had spiked hair. He was a jock. And I don't know, 12 year old me. I lost a lot of good men. First impression of each other. Oh, you smell incredible. You wear the same cologne or whatever it was that you had on that night. You I still smell like that. I, I don't and know what I was wearing that night. It makes me really happy. My first like impression when we met in person was, I was like, wow, this guy's taller than me. Strike one. I was wearing heels. <laughs> We went to the comedy club and I ordered a hurricane because I heard about hurricanes. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be the strong drink. I'm gonna impress them. They came up with this fucking big fruity drink with a fucking like pineapple on it. Bright and blue and <laughs> a fucking red. umbrella. It came with a tampon. I was like, oh my fucking god. And he had like just a jack and coke, jack on the rocks. I, I was just like, fuck my life. The first time you said I love you to a significant other. Chip. <laughs> You're the first person I said I love you to as well. Um, I was drunk. That was an understatement. <laughs> you're like, you're like basically falling asleep. Okay, I was 13 year old Ricky drunk. And we were going through a Carl's Jr. drive through and you guys know, daddy likes to eat. You know, I don't know if it was the food that I was anticipating eating or just, you know, that the way the, the moonlight hits your hair. <laughs> I, wanted, <laughs> I, I, wanted say, I was like, I want to tell you something. I don't want you to get mad or think. I knew what you were going to say. Too. I was like, don't get mad or don't get weirded out, okay? I love you. And then you and just I like, just changed the subject. He's like, I was just like, all right, well. <laughs> he was like, oh, there's a lot of stars out tonight. Did you want ketchup? <laughs> <laughs> but then I was like, a couple weeks later, we're at. Uh, we're driving home from San Francisco. We got back to your place. Oh, yeah, I was like super, super late. And I was having an anxiety no, no, attack. No, uh, yes. And then you're having a horrible anxiety attack on the way back. And I just remember. My heart was hurting because you were in so much pain. I was like, oh, so that's what that's what love is. And then I remember we were, we were lying in your bed at night cuddling, and you just told me, you know, I think I love you too. <laughs> I think that's what that is. First kiss. I remember when I was about five years old, I was in Memphis, Tennessee, because that's where my mom's from, and a bunch of neighborhood kids were out watching the lightning bugs, and this girl, she came over to me. She was about like six, you know, you know, I pull older bitches. <laughs> and she was like, can I tell you a secret? And she was came up to whisper in my ear that she kissed me. <laughs> Fucking slut. You did not say that. You're five. You didn't know any of those words. Oh, but you can drink alcohol. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. It really helps. Like, and I honestly appreciate it. My name's Leo. I make videos every single Friday, so make sure to stick around and hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. I promise you. Will they regret it? I mean... It's over. First, first time we broke up. Now. That's not real. <laughs> if you want to see more of me and Ricky, you can click my face right now, and it'll take you to part two of the boyfriend tag we did last month. And there's also bloopers on my second channel, too, so make sure to check that shit out. As always, don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it, or to follow me below on one of my sexy social media links if you really liked it. Alright, I love you guys, but until next time...